Hello, I'm Alan Hilsebush with uh, Director of Sales with Industrial Apparatus Services and Siddons Martin Emergency Group. We're here in, uh, at Pierce Manufacturing in Appleton, Wisconsin, conducting the final inspection of one of two trucks for this customer in Texas. Uh, what we have here is a 100-foot Pierce uh, high-flow industrial aerial platform uh, on a velocity chassis. It's got a many and nice features and I'd like to take you for a walk around. So the uh, Velocity uh, cab and chassis, you can look inside and take a look around. The, uh, it's the, the, it's over the power plant for this, the Velocity chassis, we have a Cummins ISX 600 horsepower engine driving, driving an Allison 4000 transmission. Uh, not a whole lot special, not a whole lot of special options inside of the cab because this is going to an industrial complex. Their key uh, main area of concern is getting water and putting it on big fires. So. Uh, the, the, that big engine drives a big water pump, uh, and behind this pump module is, sits a Darley uh, ZSM 3000 GPM water pump that leaves the flow in excess of 6000 at pressurized uh, hydrant supply. And if you look at, take a look at the pump panel, you'll see that the, uh, the pump panel is fairly simple, really easy to operate. The uh, features the new Pierce uh, electric over hydraulic valve actuators and valve controllers. Uh, you're shown here sitting with all the valves open because we are sitting out here in freezing temperatures talking about it. Uh, you'll notice that the pump panel is extra simple if you're, if you're familiar with industrial fire trucks and that's because there is no foam system on this truck so it's vastly simplified. Uh, this is just a big water uh, aerial, aerial device with a pump to supply and support that high flow aerial. Uh, the customers bought the second truck that we're inspecting. We just started that inspection. is a is a 5500 GPM pumper that'll be able to supply foam to this aerial if needed. But primarily, this customer is has a lot of light in hydrocarbons, uh, so they the foam needs are are pretty minimal. A lot of LNGs go through their facility uh, with high vapor pressure, so they're in for high, heavy big water for cooling capacity. Uh, one of the things that's kind of a little bit different on this on this pump panel, you'll notice they have a camera set up here because you don't see any intakes, any discharges on this driver's side pump panel. They can see their, what's happening on the passenger side where all of their inlets and large diameter discharges come away so they can watch their, what's happening on the other truck, outside the truck from their driver's side pump control panel. As you walk around the truck, you'll, you'll notice their pretty cool color scheme. Uh, they're real proud of their blacked out look uh, it does look great there is no water tank or foam tank on board it's just a big hose bed uh, it's technically sized for a thousand feet of six inch hose the customer after looking at the hose bed sees that they can put a lot more than a thousand feet of six inch in there and uh, and there's plenty of weight capacity left on the rear axle so I imagine we'll, we'll have to see what all they put how much hose they put on the truck uh, we did say it's a uh, Pierce high flow industrial platform, so that has the six inch, five and a half, five, three section waterway, uh, capable of flowing 3,000 gallons a minute. Uh, they did buy the uh, Pierce life brackets so they can help them perform rescues if they need to use this truck in addition to just being a high flow water device, they can use it in rescue scenarios. The uh, typically where you see ladders stored in a 100 foot platform, this truck has a has a large slide out hose bed and with a pre-connected uh, two and a half inch above it so they'll be able to pre-connect the blitz fire with 200 feet of three inch plus the blitz fire mounted in this area for a quick uh, ability to put some you know put control of fire or use it to protect the truck from heat and, and heat exposure they do have a few ground ladders they do have a few uh, pike poles and attic ladder in the event that they needed some type of ladders because their pumper carries no no ladders. As you work your way around, uh, you'll see that the aerial ladder does have a uh, air breathing air system. The breathing air ports up in the basket and at the turntable in the event that they would get get into an area where they'd have to go on breathing air, they can do that and maintain that area safely for a period of time. On the side of the ladder, they have a large uh, Stokes box, Stokes storage box. It's also sized to where we can, can we can carry those 
the purest life brackets and store them when not in use, but it'll be up on the base section. The uh, truck has a lample storage for uh, many SCBA bottles. So you'll see these compartments throughout. As you get to this side of the pump house, you'll see the business end of that big water pump. And uh, this is the, the you, you have three six inch suctions to supply water to the pump. And then of course the pump will discharge water out of the aerial, out of the two and a half out of the rear. You got two two and a halfs on, this, on the passenger side, as well as two six inch large diameter discharges uh, to take care of your, your discharge needs. All right, so this, this truck is equipped as far from a lighting standpoint. Their emergency lighting is all Whalen uh, LEDs, uh, mostly M6s all the way around the truck. And then they have uh, uh, fire research scene lights in various places on the truck in both 12 volt and 110 volt lighting. Thank you for uh, watching this walk around and hopefully you can uh, join us to walk around the uh, pumper here shortly.